strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Obi-Wan Kenobi meets Darth Vader in a corridor aboard the Death Star. Darth Vader was waiting, his lightsaber already ignited. As Obi-Wan ignites his saber, Darth Vader tells him as much. I have been waiting for you, Obi-Wan. We meet again at last. The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. And Obi-Wan responds, Only a master of evil, Darth. Basically putting him back in his place and telling him that he is not yet granted the rank of master. Don't you wish Mace Windu was there to see this? But Obi-Wan goes on to tell Darth Vader more of what he didn't learn before turning his back on the Jedi Order. Today, on Star Wars Fanatic. Power had been a theme with Anakin Skywalker all along. We saw it all throughout Attack of the Clones, The Clone Wars, and even the original trilogy. I'm not the Jedi I should be. I want more. And I know I shouldn't. Yes, I'm calling Darth Vader Anakin for a moment. It'll be okay, I promise. As a Padawan in Attack of the Clones, he talked about being ahead of Obi-Wan Kenobi in many ways. What he was talking about was his Force abilities and his power. When Obi-Wan told Anakin that if he would put as much effort in his lightsaber training, he would rival Master Yoda, Anakin replies with, I thought I already did. During the Clone Wars, Anakin was often arrogant about his abilities. Yet throughout the entire era of the Clone Wars, he never showed the emotional maturity needed to control these powers in a responsible way. This includes his time during Attack of the Clones, the Clone Wars, and Revenge of the Sith. He even tells Count Dooku, my Jedi powers have doubled since we last met. Count Dooku recognizes his arrogance and emotional immaturity and calls him out on it. Only this time Dooku was wrong and he lost his head for it. During a board meeting on the first Death Star, Darth Vader talks with the Admirals and Grand Moff Tarkin and tells them not to be too proud of the technological terror they've constructed, that the ability to destroy a planet is insignificant to the power of the Force. And who in that room has the power of the Force? You guessed it, Darth Vader. He is indeed powerful. Yoda even remarks on it when Luke Skywalker meets him on Dagobah. Powerful Jedi was he powerful Jedi. Even though I consider Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader two different personas, the idea of obtaining power, and lots of it, transcends both personas. Obi-Wan Kenobi trained Anakin for many years. He also stayed close to him throughout the Clone Wars, after Anakin Skywalker completed his trials to become a Jedi Knight. In fact, he was with Anakin up until Anakin became a member of the Jedi Council. But he wasn't granted the rank of Master. Yeah, I keep throwing that one out there. So Obi-Wan Kenobi knew Anakin better than Anakin Skywalker knew himself. He knew that when they met on the Death Star, that he could find a way to appeal to him beneath the mask of Darth Vader, through power. Darth Vader tries to taunt Obi-Wan Kenobi by saying, your powers are weak, old man. Obi-Wan recognizes this old friend and takes the opportunity by saying, you can't win, Darth. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Then, they engage in more combat. Eventually, Luke Skywalker shows up just in time to see Obi-Wan Kenobi submit and Darth Vader slash at him. This scene is a misconception by a lot of people. Darth Vader didn't kill Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan joined the Force just before Darth Vader's red blade cut him down, showing there was one power that Darth Vader, or Anakin Skywalker, wasn't taught. Essentially, Obi-Wan Kenobi was doing something he had become particularly good at, taunting his opponent. He did it with Count Dooku when he and Anakin were rescuing Chancellor Palpatine. Chancellor, Sith Lords are our speciality. And he said that within earshot of Count Dooku. He taunted, taunted General Grievous. Hello there. He also taunted many others, such as Asajj Ventress and members of Death Watch, even Maul a time or two. Obi-Wan Kenobi's taunts were part of his battle strategy, almost like how a basketball or football player will trash talk their opponents. It throws them off guard, or it gets them to do what you want. In the case of Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader, it got Vader to act on his feelings, just as Obi-Wan wanted. He wanted Luke 
Anakin Skywalker's son, to see what he would perceive as Darth Vader killing Obi-Wan. And how did Obi-Wan accomplish this? By appealing to the one thing he knew Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader wanted more than anything, power. But I imagine Anakin was probably beneath the mask saying, powerful? How will you become more powerful by me killing you? Not only are your powers weak, old man, but you're senile as well. Obi-Wan's taunts did nothing to sway Darth Vader. In fact, Darth Vader had sought out Obi-Wan Kenobi to kill him. If anything, Obi-Wan came off as manipulating in this instance. Now, he felt like he did manipulate Darth Vader into swinging at him, but like I said, Darth Vader was on his way to kill Obi-Wan anyway. Let's forget how Obi-Wan told Luke a big lie on Tatooine about his father's murder. So, Obi-Wan joined the Force just before Darth Vader cut him down. Luke witnessed it from Luke's point of view. It seemed that Darth Vader had killed the old Jedi. Luke went into a rage, he shot a couple stormtroopers, he fled the Death Star, then later returned to destroy it. All in the name of his father and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, and his sister that he had the hots for. <laughs> However, the fact remains, Darth Vader was seeking more power. Obi-Wan had a power that Darth Vader slash Anakin Skywalker had not learned yet. The power to join the Force and become a Force Ghost with the ability to interact with the living and the physical realm. But by telling Darth Vader he would become more powerful without telling Darth Vader what would happen, he just made himself look a little crazier. Darth Vader had struck down many Jedi. This was not a new practice, and Obi-Wan Kenobi wasn't to be the first. No Jedi that he had struck down had become more powerful than he could possibly imagine. In fact, they all ceased to exist. Anakin nor Darth Vader had seen anything of what Obi-Wan was talking about, but Obi-Wan was onto something. He had given Darth Vader a clue as to what would happen. He may have reconsidered slashing at him at all, but by teasing it, he just made himself look senile and needing to be put out of his misery anyway. I'm not saying Obi-Wan failed completely, because Darth Vader did notice his body was missing after the duel, and he also didn't fail because it really got Luke on board with the idea of killing Darth Vader, which was the ultimate plan for Luke as far as Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda were concerned. But by seeming to have been murdered by Darth Vader while in a suppose of surrender, Obi-Wan Kenobi manipulated Luke into being 100% into the rebel cause. If there was a doubt that Luke would stick around for the fight before this point, this act solidified Luke Skywalker's resolve. But why did Obi-Wan do it? He could have saved a lot of time by just joining the force before he ran into Darth Vader. Was it to distract Darth Vader from Luke and Han's escape and rescue of the princess? Or was it to manipulate yet another Skywalker boy? Or was it just to taunt Darth Vader into believing there was another power he didn't know about? You decide. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I really enjoy interacting with my viewers. And if you're new to the channel or just haven't made the commitment yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on all my Star Wars discussions, theories, fan fictions, and so much more. Wow, these older videos just don't hold up the way I thought they would, but it's good to see what kind of progress you go through as a content creator. And I'm proud of it, so I'm going to go ahead and repost this video. And thank you for watching. This is Gerald from Star Wars Fanatic signing off, wishing you all great health, happiness, and peace. Thank you all for watching, and remember, this is the way. The only way. I am not your failure, Obi-Wan. You didn't kill Anakin Skywalker. I did.